Let's get more with the top Democrat of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, Senator Bob Menendez of New Jersey. Uh, Senator, thanks so much for joining us. You were there. You were inside the White House for that meeting. What unfolded exactly? Well, uh, the president came in and he was in a belligerent state from the beginning. He smacked down a whole bunch of papers on the table, said, you all asked for this meeting. I reluctantly agreed to it. No one had asked for the meeting. And Speaker Pelosi uh, just very uh, professionally said, Mr. President, we didn't ask for a meeting. We asked for a briefing from the secretaries of defense, state, and intelligence to understand the consequences of your actions. And he said, well, then let's end the meeting. And she said, well, while I'm here, it's my duty as a speaker to tell you uh, that the House has just passed, I think, 362, I forget exactly what the number was, a resolution uh, opposing your decision and calling upon a strategy for ISIS. And he just went on and then said, that's a political hit job. And it went downwards from there. He was belligerent. Uh, uh, he was, um, I, I believe, denigrating to the speaker, called her a third-rate politician, uh, suggested that uh, the Kurds are communists and therefore all you Democrats must be very happy with that. And it just went downward from there. It was, it was uh, something like I have never seen in my 27 years in Congress and uh, serving over the course of four different presidents. Yeah, and it, it worries me uh, in terms uh, of where we're headed uh, in our fight against ISIL and the security of the country. The, the resolution uh, passed 354 to 60, 354 to 60, a resolution condemning the president's troop withdrawal from Syria. How long did this meeting go on approximately? Well, uh, all told, it went for about an hour. The speaker and uh, uh, Steny Hoyer and others left before. I stayed for a while longer because I wanted to make a point to the president. Uh, when it finally came to my time, I said, look, I said, uh, there's no one here who has greater love of country than the other. Uh, we may have, however, different views as to how we secure the nation. I disagree with the decision you made as commander-in-chief. Uh, and evidently, a strong vote in the House uh, shares that view, and I believe a strong vote in the Senate will do the same. Having said that, it's what happens now. You talk about sanctions against Turkey. It's a rather late for that. And the sanctions that you have levied have meant nothing to Turkey. They're not stopping the process of their engagement in Syria. And the Turkish stock market went up. I said, you've created the possibility of a land bridge for Iran to come into Syria and attack our ally, the state of Israel. You have 14, 18,000 fighters. I don't know if your defense people tell you that, but that's what the Spectre General, the Department of Defense, uh, says, that there are 14 to 18,000 ISIS fighters. If the 10,000 that were detained by the Kurds get unleashed, you're talking about a potential fighting force of hardened fighters to up to 30,000. That is a clear and present danger to the United States. And these are the things that you have unlocked. And uh, this is the challenge with what we have. I, I don't think the president has a grasp of what he has unlocked uh, in terms of whatever agreement he made with Erdogan. So how did he respond to, to you? He, well, he said uh, they will defeat ISIS. Uh, I, said, uh, I said, well, how? And that was one of the issues that erupted. Uh, Senator Schumer was pressing him on, well, what is the strategy to defeat ISIS? Uh, and basically, all he kept saying is we will defend the homeland. But there was no strategy enunciated, uh, not even an outline of a strategy enunciated to defeat ISIS. This should be a concern to every American. He suggested that there are seven thousand miles away why should we fight them uh, one other member uh, reminded him that on September 11th they traveled 7,000 miles and ultimately created harm to the United States um, and so there wasn't any clear this is what worries me after sitting there for an hour I am concerned for the nation and I am concerned uh, about our fight uh, against ISIS and uh, you know it's it's it, it was an unnerving meeting to say the least Senator Menendez, thanks so much uh, for joining us. Thank you.